So that's the floor finished, like I said. So I don't need the plans anymore. So I'll put those back in the site office. <laughs> Dare I open it? No, we're all clean and tidy, us boys. So look, back with all the other drawings. Superb. Hello everyone, so today's video we're starting a new project, there's going to be quite a lot of uh, work on this one. Um, the first job I've got to do is the joists, these are these posi joists, they've all come in nice and uh, I've got an army of willing helpers today, so um, these got delivered yesterday and they've put some of them up. Um, it's a fairly decent sized job, here's the plan, um, these posi joists are all nice and straightforward, it's all laid out for you, look, even all the measurements and if you can see that, all the measurements and everything, so you can't really go wrong. So, um, as I said, we've got a few up here, there's some more down here, and there's some more down here. Um, so I think what we're going to do is, if I just show you here, I think we're going to start, get this long run done all, all in here, which basically we've just got to set out. Um, there's a trimmer here, put some um, joist hangers on there, another trimmer here, put some joist hangers on there, and we'll set all of this one out, get that in, get that boarded, and then we can do this other off it so um, we'll get it all loaded out so uh, yeah that's that big run over here so yeah some here already look so basically that's a big long run all the way up there so um say so, i'm um, gonna be busy so i'm probably just gonna set up a time lapse on one of these scaffold poles and get cracking
So there you go, that's the first little phase. Um, as I said earlier, we sort of decided to do it in phases really, rather than just put all the joists on. What we're gonna do is, uh, as you can see, all these joists are in now, all the strong back braces are on, all the metalwork's on, and all the noggins that go across, because obviously there's walls gonna go on there, they're all in, so what I'm gonna start doing now is boarding this. What that enables us to do is um, have a nice working space up here to do this last bit off, but also the bricklayers can come in tomorrow and start beam filling in between the joists. So. It's going well, it's a nice day again today. So it's a um, nice job joisting really because you can uh, cover a lot of ground and see what you're doing. These joists aren't brilliant, I'm afraid. Seems a bit of a par for the course at the minute. They haven't been constructed with the most care, but there we go, they're down now. We'll get the flooring on and uh, get cracking.
Right, as you can see, uh, we've got all this floor down. I don't know how good the camera angle was because it was just stuck to one of these scaffold poles, so it might be wobbling around a bit. Sorry, do the best I can. Um, seven o'clock is this morning, an absolutely gorgeous day. Clear blue sky is going to be lovely today. All we've got to do is get this last little section done here. We made a start on it yesterday, so it took most of the day to get this done. Made a start on that yesterday, so I'm just going to finish setting out all these joists here. There's a stairwell to be um, trimmed out here, and then we can just fly the rest of this chipboard flooring in. So I'll set the video up on time lapse and uh, let's get this wrapped up.
right there we go so that's that finished um a day and it's about three hours today it took so it goes down pretty quick and um, the eagle eyes uh, amongst you the eagle eyed amongst you, I say might, might have noticed that there was a strong back brace missing in this section and where are we this section here that's because I didn't send it uh, we put the flooring down anyway and that's going to be delivered and we'll put that in afterwards um, this floor does go down pretty quick as I said we've got uh, egg protect on the top here and um, as you can see, we've got the polyurethane gluing it together. This also weatherproofs the joint. Um, the manufacturer who supplied the floor recommends that the flooring isn't actually nailed. Um, so I just put the odd nail in here and there. Um, I know it's expanding glue, but it's not powerful enough to lift that flooring up. So a uh, few little jobs left to do is just put the tape that we put on the edge here. This protects the bare edge. Um, so there's a couple of edges around the stairwell and, and that perimeter along there and back down there. And that's me about done. I should put some uh, temporary hand railing around the stairwell so that nobody falls down that. And uh, yeah, that's looking really good. This makes a really lovely floor. Uh, as I said, uh, unfortunately, these posi joists, they weren't made fantastically. I don't think they were, perhaps as much care was taken making as it should do. But it doesn't matter. It's a very forgiving system and any little indiscrepancies are taken up with the glue. So it makes a really nice floor, it's really nice and solid. The only downside is uh, when the house is finished, if any plumber or electrician wants to get a floorboard up, um, it's a bit of a nightmare, but uh, that's their problem, not mine. So uh, that's that done. The next job I've got to do on here, getting ready for the roof, we've got a, a lean-to. Uh, this roof, it's difficult without the, showing you the plans, but there's some mono trusses go uh, from this, this, this steel here. It represents the walls going to go up. You've got an external skin and an internal skin, and then there's uh, mono trusses uh, fitting off of that. And then obviously this external skin will be brought up and there'll be a plate on there. So what I've got to do, if I can lean over here, is uh, the web of this steel here that we can see. I've got to pack that with timber, which I'm going to do for the rest of the day today, so that that'll take the um, joist hangers that will take the trusses. I know I'm waffling, but it's mainly about the floor here. So really, ha really happy with how that's gone, and. Uh, yeah, another one ticked off the list. He's just relaxing, look. <laughs> fantastic. So this wasn't a fantastically detailed video, um, mainly because we really need to crack on. We've got uh, the bricklayers here already beam filling, so we really need to push on. Sometimes I just haven't got time to uh, do stop and talk to the camera, and I hope you understand that basically it's, it's kind of... You can have see me doing this in time lapse or you know i'll not do it at all but uh, anyway i hope you found it interested anyway i hope you found it interesting thanks for watching